Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make some one-shot effects, or not like these grid synths, but more like a percussive, randomized thingamajingy. So we're gonna start with phase plant, of course. I'm gonna go for a sampler, and I'm gonna have the, if you go to the escapes, there's some uh, sample called sizzle static. Sounds like this. So, um, I don't know, feels like you're on a barbecue or something. But I'm gonna pitch this down. So now it sounds really, really weird. And I'm gonna grab an LFO shape and I'm gonna move this to the offset. And I actually bought these LFO shapes from Databroth. You can, I will link it in the description to where you can get them. Um, there's a hundred different kinds of um, shapes here. I think they're like five dollars or something. So I thought to myself, well, why the hell not? And they're pretty crazy shapes. So I'm gonna try this one. Just gonna make it really slow. I'm gonna map it to the offset. Make it. Uh, unipolar maybe? Bipolar? Yeah, bipolar. Cool. Uh, we're gonna distort this. And, um, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna have use hard clip, I think, actually. Yeah, something like that. I'm just gonna check something. Good, I don't have sonar works on. Perfect. Um, and then I'm gonna choose a wavetable. And... I'm actually going to FM this just a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm going to move the wavetable position to somewhere where I think it sounds pretty nice. It's not sounding nice at the moment, but uh, uh, you get the idea. Um, so I'm just gonna. Draw some notes in here. Is maybe it's a little bit too low. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, let's fold this guy. Let's just solo this for a minute. I'm actually going to take a random. And for each, oops, let's loop this guy.
let's get a EQ to get rid of the lows. That's a good one. Then I'm gonna have a disperser, but I'm gonna put it over here for now. I'm gonna have a note modulator. Then I'm gonna have a compressor, and I'm gonna push this quite hard actually. Let's do it like this instead. Like minus six dB. Then I'm going to have a limit over here. Give us a little bit of headroom. And let's start making this sound a little bit more interesting by adding a delay in milliseconds. And then we're going to have a, maybe a random, yeah, I think so, that will do fine. Turn the chaos, and we're going to modulate the time over here. Pump up the feedback, a little bit of ducking, because sometimes the delay tail is going to overlap, so we want the dry signal to punch through and then bring back the delay tail again. I'm going to make it pan and ping pong. Don't forget to act activate poly. So hopefully you can see where I'm going with this patch now. Let's see if we use a fat rater here. Oh, sounds kind of nice. Maybe a little bit too loud, but I um, can gain this down a little bit. What's the sound with the resonator? But I want it to resonate at the tritone. So we gotta map this guy over here. Sounding cool.
just going to pause this for a little bit. Um, let me think now. What more can we do this due to this sound? Maybe try some pitch shifting. But mind the latency it's going to create for us, but uh, I think it will be fine. We could turn the compensation off completely. But I can hear this disperser. I think we're gonna use a EQ after here actually. How about a reverser? like a then it comes back it's pretty cool um, let's uh, fix for the reverb as well sometimes you just want dry effect so you can process it yourself later if you don't want the delay then be my guest you can always take it off of a boring sound though um, let's have a pitch shift
be nice to um, modulate. Yeah, I think that's about it. So these type of sounds are um, best to actually, uh, how should I say, like resample them. So what I would do in this case, I would probably just freeze a track. Uh, then I'll just go in, have a listen. This one sounds nice. Let's go for that one. Just drop it in there. This one sounds also kind of cool. Maybe this one. Take this one over here. Then um, go crazy with this guy. Let's uh, say let's say we want to warp it. So let's uh, up the grain size a little bit. Stretch it by holding Control Shift on Windows. Cool. Let's uh, consolidate that. Go into texture again. And then um, let's uh, go for transposition, maybe. And you got yourself a riser. So let's consolidate that one, and they can take this same guy, duplicate it, reverse it. Yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.